This is Smita Mandasad from The Naked Scientist, reporting on a recent study which offers hope to people with corneal blindness. The cornea, the film-like outermost surface of the eye, helps us to focus the images that we see, but if damaged or diseased can result in serious visual impairment, and this is one of the leading causes of vision loss worldwide. The treatment that is most widely accepted is to replace the damaged tissue with donated human corneas, but these are in short supply. Now scientists in Sweden, Canada and America have come up with a possible solution, a cornea template, made in a lab. I spoke to May Griffith of the University of Linköping in Sweden. The problem we were trying to solve is the uh, shortage of uh, donated human corneas being used for transplantation to treat corneal blindness. And how did you go about this? Uh, what we had figured was that the human cornea is made up of mostly collagen, and we thought that you know providing um, the a similar environment might be a good regeneration template for the patient's own cells and nerves to regenerate. So we decided to test this, and what we did was to use recombinant human collagen that was produced in yeast. What we did was we chemically cross-linked this material and then we put it into a mold and the end result is um, a transparent implant that looks very much like a contact lens that is about the shape and size of a normal human cornea. And what did you find when you put these implants into your patients? Once these implants were put into a patient's eye, we noticed that the um, patient's own cells and nerves started growing in. So the end result is a cornea that looks and functions like a normal healthy cornea. And did you find that any of the patients had visual improvements with this? Yes. Um, actually, this is a phase one trial, which is why there are only 10 patients. And so we were very pleasantly surprised that in six patients, the vision improved from 2400 to 2100. Uh, what this means is that the patients could see objects that were four times further away than before the operation. We also noticed that after we gave all the patients rigid contact lenses, that the vision in all 10 patients improved. What kinds of advantages do these implants provide over corneal transplants from donation? Well, donated corneas work very well. Um, so I said, what we're trying to do is to try and supplement the shortage worldwide. The main advantages that we could see is that this material is made in yeast, and so you could actually make a big batch and produce lots of corneas. Each individual donor has to be screened for a range of possible transmissible diseases. So the cost of screening each donor is quite high. But with something that is made synthetically, with the scale up, you might be able to achieve economies of scale and actually bring down the cost. Another thing that we were very happy about is that we found that nerves were growing back and they were coming back fairly quickly, although this is a small sample size. In donor corneas, sometimes the nerves don't come back for as long as 10 years. And what we found in our patients, at least in the keratoconus and the central scarring, the conditions of the patients for which we've treated, um, that nerves were able to grow back. Now, the other thing that we noticed was that our patients did not require long-term immunosuppressive steroids. So this could be another benefit. But having said that, we only did 10 patients, so there's quite a lot more work that needs to be done to be able to um, tell what these corneas could actually do. What do you feel is the next step now in the research? Well, the next step is to expand the study. And so we have plans to go into a phase two study. What this would involve would be an improved, more robust version and also um, patients with more clinical indications for transplantation. That means um, a larger range of uh, conditions that require transplantations and also we would be using a different suture technique to stabilize the corneas within the patients and the goal of all of this is to see whether we could further improve um, the efficacy of these implants. I guess the other thing would be to bear in mind that this is just a very small study and it's basically a feasibility study so we should be cautious not to draw too many conclusions from this. 
That was May Griffith of the University of Linkshipping talking about research into biosynthetic corneas, recently published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. And for more science news, go to thenakedscientists.com.